What if I told you that there's a spacecraft right now flying at 429,000 miles per hour toward the sun? It seems impossible, but it's real. And what if I tell you that this still isn't even 1% of the speed of light? Today we're going to explore what it would really mean to travel at the speed of light and why this might be the greatest challenge of human engineering. By the end of this video, you'll understand why the speed of light isn't just a number, but rather the maximum limit of the universe, and how scientists are working on technologies that could bring us closer to this impossible dream. Before we begin, please leave in the comments your name and the city from where you're watching our content. We love knowing where you're watching from. To understand the challenge of traveling at the speed of light, first let's understand what this speed really means. Light travels at the incredible speed of 300 million meters per second. To get an idea of how fast that is, at the speed of light, you could go around Earth more than seven times in just one second. Currently, our fastest spacecraft is NASA's Parker Solar Probe, which in December 2024 reached the impressive mark of 429,000 miles per hour when it passed close to the sun. This might seem extremely fast, and it really is by human standards, but it represents only 0.064% of the speed of light. Let's put this in perspective. If we wanted to travel to the nearest star, Alpha Centauri, which is 4.2 light years away, our fastest spacecraft would take approximately 70,000 years to get there. At the speed of light, the journey would take just over four years. But here begins the first major problem. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, no object with mass can reach the speed of light. As an object accelerates, its mass increases exponentially, requiring increasingly larger amounts of energy to continue accelerating. To reach the speed of light, an infinite amount of energy would be needed, which is physically impossible. And if it were possible to travel at the speed of light, the consequences would be extraordinary. First, there would be the acceleration problem. The human body can only withstand a limited amount of gravitational force. Accelerating to the speed of light would create forces that would literally crush us before we even began the journey. But let's imagine we managed to solve the acceleration problem. During the journey, we would face another fascinating phenomenon known as time dilation. For those traveling at the speed of light, time would pass normally. But for observers on Earth, the traveler's time would seem to be almost stopped. This means that a journey of a few years at the speed of light could correspond to decades or even centuries passing on Earth. You could return from a space trip and discover that everyone you knew had already died long ago. Another challenge would be cosmic radiation. In space, there is radiation that can be extremely harmful to the human body. At the speed of light, this radiation would become even more intense, creating a lethal environment for any form of life. But the challenges don't stop there. During the journey, any dust particle or space debris would become a deadly projectile. At the speed of light, even a microscopic particle would have enough energy to completely penetrate a spacecraft. So if traveling at the speed of light seems impossible, how are scientists trying to overcome these limits? One of the most promising approaches is something that sounds like science fiction, but has a real scientific basis called a warp drive. In 1994, a physicist proposed a revolutionary idea. Instead of moving the ship through space, how about moving space itself around the ship? The concept is to compress space-time in front of the ship and expand it behind it, creating a warp bubble where the ship could travel faster than light without actually moving through space. For decades, this idea seemed impossible because it required something called negative energy, which has never been observed in nature. But in 2024, researchers made a significant breakthrough. They developed a warp drive model that doesn't need exotic energy using only ordinary matter. This new design still doesn't allow faster than light travel, but it could take us very close to that speed. Even traveling at half the speed of light, we could reach Alpha Centauri in less than nine years, compared to the 70,000 years needed with our current technology. The most fascinating thing about traveling in a warp drive is that passengers wouldn't feel any gravitational force. Unlike rockets or airplanes, where you feel the acceleration, in a warp drive spacecraft, the journey would be perfectly smooth. But let's talk about technologies that are already being developed today. Nuclear propulsion represents one of the most promising bets for breaking current speed barriers. Imagine rockets that use nuclear reactions instead of traditional chemical fuel. 
these systems could take us to speeds of 5 to 10% of the speed of light. This might not seem like much, but it would completely change our relationship with space. A trip to Mars that today takes months could be done in weeks. And most importantly, interstellar journeys would stop being dreams to become real plans for a few decades. Another fascinating technology is solar sails. The concept is simple but brilliant. Use the pressure of solar light or powerful lasers to propel spacecraft. Small probes equipped with giant solar sails could reach 20% of the speed of light, reaching the nearest stars in decades instead of millennia. What's interesting is that the search for the speed of light is creating advances in areas we don't even imagine. Materials developed to withstand the extreme temperatures of space are being used in renewable energy. Research on space radiation is helping with cancer treatment, and communication technologies for high-speed spacecraft are improving our internet. But what really fascinates me is how this search is changing our perspective on our place in the universe. Each small advance brings us closer to answering the question humanity has been asking for millennia. Are we alone? If we can travel at a fraction of the speed of light, suddenly hundreds of stellar systems would become accessible. This would exponentially multiply our chances of finding extraterrestrial life or habitable worlds. Imagine the possibilities that open up. Human colonies orbiting other stars, mining resources in distant solar systems, perhaps even contact with civilizations that have already solved the speed of light enigma long before us. Let's explore what a real interstellar mission would be like with the technology that's on the horizon. Imagine a giant spacecraft, the size of a small city, powered by nuclear fusion. Even traveling at only 10% of the speed of light, the journey to our nearest neighboring star would take about 40 years. This ship would need to be completely self-sufficient. Total recycling systems for air and water, space farms to produce fresh food for decades, hibernation technology to preserve the crew during long journeys and advanced artificial intelligence to make decisions when communication with Earth became impossible due to distance. But what if we discover that the speed of light really is an insurmountable limit? This wouldn't be the end of our space dreams. Even at 10 or 20% of the speed of light, we would have access to dozens of stellar systems during a human lifetime. And maybe we don't need to send humans on these first missions. Intelligent robotic probes could explore entire galaxies collecting data on thousands of worlds and sending us information that would revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. What impresses me most is that we're living in a unique moment in history. For the first time, we have both the theoretical knowledge and the technological capability to at least try to solve this cosmic puzzle. Laboratories around the world are testing new types of propulsion, supercomputers simulate journeys through folded space-time, and mathematicians refine equations that could one day take us to the stars. This search is uniting humanity in a unique way. Physicists work with engineers. Biologists collaborate with artificial intelligence specialists. Countries that normally compete are sharing research because everyone understands that this is a challenge greater than any nation or organization. History teaches us that today's impossibilities become tomorrow's realities. 120 years ago, flying was impossible. 70 years ago, reaching space was fiction. 50 years ago, landing on the moon was a distant dream. Today, we have spacecraft flying at hundreds of thousands of miles per hour. Tomorrow, who knows if we won't have the first spacecraft to reach a significant fraction of the speed of light. Maybe the question is no longer whether we'll be able to travel at the speed of light, but when it will happen. And when that moment comes, it will mark the beginning of a new era for our species. An era where the stars will no longer be just bright points in the night sky, but real destinations we can visit. The speed of light might be the maximum limit of the universe, but our creativity and determination to overcome it have no limits. And this might be exactly the combination we need to conquer the stars. If this video made you dream about the possibilities of the space future, leave a like and subscribe for more content about the technologies that are shaping our destiny among the stars. And tell me in the comments, what excites you most about space exploration? Until the next journey.